Well, hello! It's Wednesday. We're here with a live tutorial. I just did a quick um, story clip to kind of let you guys know what I was doing. Today, I've pulled a picture of the one and only Taylor Swift. Check out this makeup. It's very Jackie Kennedy in my opinion, right? And I love doing this. I just said on my stories, I love doing this. It's like, I'll find a picture and I'll think, man, that is a really good makeup look. And I'll just like, stare at it for a little while and I'll think about what we have in the Saint lineup. Hi, <laughs> what's up? I'm so glad you're hopping on. So we're gonna recreate Taylor's face today. It's so classic. It's, you know, when I think of Taylor Swift, I think of the red lip. You know, I think of Gwen Stefani and the red lip. You know what I mean? They're just people that are iconic red lip people. And I, I honestly feel like Taylor Swift put Ruby Woo on the map. If you know, you know. Who knows what Ruby Woo is? The Ruby Ru Woo mat. It's hard to say three times fast. Um, anyway, <laughs> you guys know, you're makeup aficionados. That's why you're here. Uh, so we are going to, in 30 minutes or less, because I have a call in 30 minutes, build this pal build this face, build Taylor's face with what we have right here. So I love doing this. I love finding a look that inspires me, and then I just contemplate what we have with Saint products because I truly feel like everything that you see out in the world, in the universe, can be done with just this. It's so crazy. It's the best makeup ever. So <clears throat> I've put together my handy dandy little palette. Fits in the palm of my hand. A little bit larger than a deck of cards. I have a um, tube of mascara. I do have an extra tube of this City Lips lip gloss that I'm trying out and I really like. So we might use that, we might not. A liquid liner and a couple of brushes and some spray. Very like, you know, this is a curated makeup situation. So on the bottom half, We've got some eyeshadows, a little powder. She does not look shiny. Yesterday's makeup look was all about the bronzing, all about all of the glowy bronziness, and today is this soft palette sort of matte look. So here we go. Um, if you don't know who the hell I am, I'm Katie. I've been around Saint for a long time, four years now, and I love, I love what I do. So buckle up, we're gonna do this makeup. <clears throat> I love entertaining your questions as I go. So if you have a question, please ask. Um, it doesn't have to be makeup related. We can just have a conversation. Um, so I'm gonna pull out a couple of brushes here. These are the Saint brushes. They're really beautiful. Look at them all. Ooh and ah over them. Aren't they lovely? If you're the type of person that just like wants brushes that all are just, you know, it's like, it's like going to the movies and like th there's like a treasure box and like they open the treasure box and like something glows and they don't tell you what it is. That's these. <laughs> I feel like that when I open my drawer, I'm like, ooh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Should I tell them what's in the box? Right. Okay. The other thing we're going to talk about is how terrible my face is right now. We're coming very live, very raw and real, very unfiltered. Okay. I'm always unfiltered. I never, I never... Everything that comes out of this thing right here is always unfiltered, let me tell you. Um, is my hair a natural gray? No, it is not. I bleach. This up in here is natural gray, baby. But all this is bleached, and then I use a coloring conditioner called Overtone to get it gray. And I love it because it's not damaging to my hair. Anyway, but you guys, on Friday I'm getting my hair done. Nobody knows this yet. I might not be gray. I might not even be blonde. So... We'll talk about that on the stories tomorrow. That's another thing for another day. And now the sun is trying to shine right in my face and that's gonna be a problem, but we're gonna manage. Okay, so we're gonna talk about how bad my skin is right now. I just went on vacation and I don't know about you guys, but whenever I go on vacation, it's like my, my, my skin starts to dry out when I sit on the beach, you know? And then as soon as I take all the like sun and sand and salt water away and all of the dryness goes away, my skin is like put the pedal to the metal on the oil production. And so the first several days after vacation, my face just like explodes on me and I'm just hanging on for dear life, hoping, <laughs> hoping that it won't last very long. But this always happens to me. This always happens to me. So, oh, my cousin is watching. Do you use the red? 
I think Julie, you used the red overtone and it is magical. So, okay. Onward to the makeup. I have prepped my skin with a prescription level uh, lotion <laughs> for the breakout. And um, I d have just been exfoliating as much as I can. So that is my remedy for, ooh, the rose gold. Ooh, nice. So my remedy for breaking out whenever I do have a breakout is always that I have excess um, dry and dead skin that needs to come off. So I use the Cure Aqua Gel. Actually, I filmed a reel for you guys that's going to be coming up um, and I'll post it in the next day or so of exactly what I do because I was like, you know what? Somebody else out there is probably struggling with the same thing. So when my skin hates me, stay tuned. There's a reel coming at you with how I do it. But the point of this story is that I know that a lot of you out there don't have perfect skin. No, it's not the sunblock because I wear the sunblock all the time. This is the sunblock that I wear. It's literally just the fact that my skin gets wildly dried out when I'm on vacation. And then when I get back, it's like clockwork. I've measured this time and time again. It's like a, an absolute certainty that after vacation, I will have a breakout. So. Well, hello from Italy, darling. I'm so excited to have you here. Okay, I'm hoping that this situation with the sun doesn't become too much of an issue, or I might have to get out like a, a filter, like a photography filter that I have, but we're gonna hang in there. The point of my story is that this makeup in like two seconds flat will cover everything that I need to cover. And so let's get on with the Taylor Swifting. You don't need to hear me yakking on any longer. Okay, so we have our palette. If you guys are new around here, this is Saint. It comes in a little compact like this. All these little tins are super affordable. And my job is to color match you guys. You can send me a color match. You send me your, your face, no makeup selfie. Colormatchbykatie.com is how you can do business with me and just like hang out with me and get to know me and I'll get to know you and all of my customers, I just love it. So they, they all become friends and it's amazing. So anyway, if you would like for me to take a look at your face and recommend colors for you, just go to colormatchbykatie.com or click the link in my bio and you too can create a palette that's just suitable for you. So anyway, I built this palette just a couple minutes ago. I've got highlights and contour. These two right here are highlights. This is a contour. We've got lip and cheeks and an illuminator. Okay, that's what we call it in our language. Then down on the bottom, we have our eyeshadows, another lip and cheek, and some vanilla dust setting powder. Everything I need for my entire face is in the palm of my hand. Okay, ready, set, go. Here we go. So I'm taking the lightest color. This is a color called White Peach. And I am going to, it's like paint by number. It's literally like so easy. A monkey could do it. A monkey could do the makeup. So if you're makeup challenged or you feel like, you know, makeup just, the, the skill level of makeup just kind of skipped you over you in your lifetime, fear not. You too can be a makeup girl because believe me, I'm not a makeup artist. I know that it might seem that like, because I do makeup all the time now that I probably could say that I am. But even now, even four years later, I, I still struggle with that like imposter syndrome of like makeup artist. You're not a makeup artist. I was a photographer. I was a photographer for 12 years and I found this makeup while I was on a photo shoot one day. I was on a set of a photo shoot and I just was so blown away at how smooth and gorgeous it is. Look at these breakouts. See ya, kid. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. Right? And it doesn't feel heavy. I know it looks like it is super high coverage, and it is. It looks, it's like butter. It's like butter that will, will not break you out. And I am prone to breakouts, and this stuff is magical. Look at that half of my face. And look at that half. And that just happened in like two seconds. So anyway, Taylor's face is very matte and you can choose the like level of either matte or shimmer, like a dewy, glowy kind of a look based on how you set this makeup, right? I know I wish Saint would be in the UK too. Soon, darling, soon. I hope soon. We all pray for soon because we want like it's not about world domination. A little it's about world domination. A little. I'll, I won't lie. It's a little about world domination. But really what it's about is when you know that you have literally stumbled on like the best thing ever, don't you just want to go and run every, and tell everybody that you care about and be like, dude, you got to get on this stuff. 
Like, this is life changing. And that's how I feel about it. I really do. I would be using this and still sharing it even if I wasn't getting paid. So, anyway. All right. Taylor's face is very full coverage and very solid. She doesn't have a lot of contour on. We're going to put a little contour on. Um, she doesn't have a lot on, but she's just sort of like, I mean, I'm sure there was some editing going on. Um, you know, as a photographer, I know that there's tricks there. Her face is just like so perfect. So the next thing I'm going to do is take this detail brush and a little bit of this, um, contour colored called henna and henna is like if you're familiar with our colors in our lineup it's like almost like ash and olive had a baby okay so i'm putting a very little bit of contour right in my cheekbones because i just want a little bit of sculpting but nothing harsh okay i'm looking at taylor's face and it's just a little bit like enough to be dangerous right you used to be a Mac lady and you love Saint. That's amazing. So you know what Ruby Woo is. You know that Taylor made Ruby Woo what it is today, I think. She definitely created that phenomenon where people were running into Mac going, what is Taylor's lip color? And that's what it was. So hi from Brazil. All right, so I'm just kind of putting a little contour where I love to put it personally, just because I want my face shape to kind of you know, do like everybody has their own features. You know, we all have different bone structures. So you got to work with what you got. Tanya's here from the Netherlands. Hello. Do I powder throughout the day? Not usually. I'll powder once and that's all I really need. Um, right when I set my makeup, that's another beauty of this makeup. It stays put. You don't have to worry about it fading throughout the day or any of that. That's a great question. How do you find if it wears throughout the day? You guys, this makeup, I will tell you my very first takeaway. I was, I was a makeup junkie. You know, I had every brand. I had NARS, I had Bobbi Brown, I had Bare Minerals, I had it all. I had more makeup coming out of my ears. You would have thought I was a makeup artist because I loved makeup. I, lo I think I just love the creative aspect of it. I love creating something. It's like a box of crayons, you know? Um, so I had it all, but one thing that I always struggled with was I would put 20 something minutes into my face in the morning and then by like lunchtime, I'd be like, well, where'd my makeup go? I'd go in and use the bathroom and I'd be like, well, what happened? <laughs> Where did it go? And so one of the things that I will say, bloody truth, my kit came and I'll never forget, I put the makeup, I ripped open the box the very first day, I put the makeup on my face, I am sure that I butchered it. I am sure that I butchered my first makeup application, but I didn't care because it still like beat the pants off the old makeup that I was wearing, right? And I remember walking into the bathroom at like 11.30 at night and flipping on the light, like kind of forgetting that I even had makeup on, just assuming, you know, habit, force of habit. And I remember like, <laughs> like doing that in the mirror going, holy shit it looks like i just put it on for me that was like a neon sign that said value right what could be more valuable than just putting a few minutes in the morning to get yourself put together and having it last all day right that's value okay moving on so we're gonna do taylor's cheeks and i have two colors here this is nude i never wear nude in my mind nude to me always made me feel like an old lady that had rouge on, right? It wasn't this like pop of fresh peach or pop of fresh pink. It was like a real muted, barfy mauve color. I'm being very honest. <laughs> Again, no filter. But I'm looking at her face and I'm like, that is so soft and lovely. I need to go dig out my nude. So I did. So we're gonna give nude a whirl here. So for all you girls out there and wearing nude, I am not trying to hate on you at all. I am trying to broaden my mind right now. I'm with you. So I'm gonna just take this, this blend brush and I'm gonna do something that is a tip that I really love and I just learned, okay? Less is more, first of all. So just take a tiny little bit, tap in there. You know, you can always add more, right? You can't, it's so much harder to take away once you've added it, but you can always add more. So I'm going 
from about like the mid iris back and I'm, I'm hooking it up here because I really love that sort of over fluffed blush look, right? But then what I'm also gonna do to keep it, to keep it popping is I'm gonna take this color here, Petal, and I'm gonna put Petal on the front end only, right? Front end only. Jade, I'm so glad that you, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming an, a nude believer. Believe it or not, I wore nude a lot, right? At like my first year with the company, we didn't have as many blush colors as we do now when I first started. So, you know, nude was one of those really good options. Okay, so my lip, my cheeks are done. Let's move on to the lip. I'm going to use a pencil. Mm, maybe I don't need to. Let me look at our lips real quick. One second. Okay. I'm gonna make a command decision. One of my all time, all time, all time favorite lip liners is this color called, where's my multitasker? Okay, is this color, it's a pencil by um, Makeup Forever. It is called Endless Cacao. I'm sure my makeup enthusiasts out there know what this is, but Endless Cacao is almost the same as Henna. Almost the same. So again, when you wanna carry around less stuff, just reach for your contour when you need a little lip liner. Okay, they're gonna put some henna. And I actually purposely put a little bit of my cream highlight on my lips. I covered my lips just a touch with my highlight because I wanted them to be really soft and muted. I didn't want my natural lip color to show through. I wanna mute out, what is going on? like a fuzzy. Okay, so a little bit of henna, and if I find out that henna just is not enough, but I think it will be, then, okay, then I'm gonna take my finger, tap on the nude. Now nude is a matte color, it doesn't have shimmer to it. I'm gonna put some, oh yeah, that's pretty. Oh, it's coming together, y'all, coming together, okay. And this is what I love, these lip and cheeks are literal lip and cheeks. Okay, finally, Oh, stop. Oh, stop. You, you stop now. Okay, I'm taking the petal now. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Okay. I'm into it. Look at, look at my lips and look at Taylor's lips. I mean, we're like twins. Right? We're getting there. Okay, now for this like sultry eye, this soft sultry eye. I'm so excited about this. Okay, these are the colors that we have. I'll call them out as I use them. Okay, first things first, we're gonna put a little crease in. It looks to me, it's hard to tell, this is a little, but she's kind of in the shadows, um, but I'm gonna start with this uh, sort of peachy color. This is from our advent calendar collection. I think this one is Nutcracker, okay? And I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna grab another mirror here. For some reason, my phone just keeps going super dark on me, like the brightness just goes down the tubes for some reason. So I'm just gonna windshield wiper a little bit of this Nutcracker color back and forth. How am I doing on time? 4.17, okay, my call is in a little less than 10 minutes. No. 13 minutes I have. We got loads of time to hang out. Yes, try this combo, I'm into it. It's really soft and pretty. Okay, so there's that. We're gonna start there. Then I'm gonna go to Gigi. Okay, Gigi's one of my all-time faves. It's not pink, it's not purple. Kinda like the, the cheek color, right? Not pink, it's not purple. We're gonna grab a flat brush. You can use your um, multitasker if you want. And let's grab a little bit of Gigi. And it looks to me like her Gigi is kind of in the center, the center of her lid. Oh gosh, these pigments in these eyeshadows, you guys, are next level. Like you don't, that is, that is a struggle that so many people have. And it's almost like a struggle that I really forgot people have because I have been using these eyeshadows for now four years, I literally forget that that's such a struggle. I have glue on my lashes from last night. 
I mean, talk about a hazard of the job. You see that silly glue in there? That's okay. My mascara will cover it whenever I get to that step. Okay, so all we have on now is the Nutcracker and some Gigi. All right, from the, we've got nothing in here and nothing out here. You have that issue in the car when your phone is overheating. Yes, I know. You know what? It's not even like, there's nothing hot in this room. This happens to me all the time, Tony. It's so odd. Um, okay, moving right along. The next color is, this is eggnog, okay? But if you guys have Sabrina, this one was from the Advent Calendar Collection. This was a very limited series that we did right around Christmas time. But if you have Sabrina, that will work. We're gonna put that right here on the inner, inner eye. It's really just about like building little teeny little pockets of color. It, from what I'm learning, I mean, again, I'm. This is all like self teaching. I didn't have. I didn't go to some school. I hate to say it. I I really respect so many women that go to cosmetology school and they learn proper techniques of doing this. I feel like I just look at a photograph and I try to figure it out. Good night from Spain. Buenas noches. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm lo loving that you're just hanging out for a few. Um, but you know, what I'm learning as I build the is, sorry about that. I just got a phone call. What I'm learning is that, um, you know, it's just about taking tiny little pockets of color on an eye look and just putting, just placing little pieces down, like a like a little puzzle. Um, okay, so we're moving right along and we're going to add a little bit of depth. And so I'm gonna start with this color here. This one I think is called Sleigh Ride. It's a very like neutral brown. And I'm gonna start to deepen my crease here with this color. Oh yeah. So I'm not letting go of that like cream, that peachy cream color that was in there, but I'm going to just give this a little depth. And then look at the change between that eye and this eye. Like her eye is smoked out and super cool. And I'm just gonna take a clean brush and make sure that I don't go too far in the inner part of the eye. I think I want it to be smoked out on the outer part of the eye. Okay, and let me just tap a little bit over here on this side. This is a really beautiful tapered brush. I love a tapered brush for doing that like inner crease work because it just tucks and fits right in that pocket. And then you can take a clean brush and just kind of soften it out. See how easy that is? And then the final thing for this is to add just a bit more depth to the outer corner and I'm gonna use this dark color called Philly. It's like a rich uh, brown. What color was the last one? So, okay, I'll go over it. We have um, Nutcracker was the peachy one, then we did Gigi, then we did Eggnog, and then we did Sleigh Ride. And now I've got a touch of Philly and Philly's gonna go right here. So see how it's just kind of like a little puzzle, you guys? Like I look at the lid space and I say, okay, I have a crease. I have a lid and then I have like a brow bone and then I have the underside of my eye, like the eyelash area, right? Lash line. So I just look at each little section of my eyelid like it's got its own little bit of real estate, right? And so I've got so many beautiful colors kind of working together here. What do you think? These are, um, these are brushes by My Kit Co. I hit a big sale. This is a UK based company. I got a boatload of eyeshadow brushes and face brushes from them and I'm just loving experimenting with them. They're really high quality. And, um, but Saint also has beautiful, beautiful brushes, beautiful brushes, but I'm just playing with some different shapes um, just for fun. So, okay, you can also take a brush that's kind of like this and really start to kind of fluff out and blend, you know, a clean brush with very, very fluffy bristles. The lower you hold the brush on the handle, the more like, you know, flexibility that you'll have with your hand and like the less pressure you'll have to put on your face. Um, okay, so the final part of this look, she's got a really beautiful um, inner tear duct that's just singing at me. Um, so I'm taking a teeny tiny little brush and this is a color called unicorn. It looks almost completely white, 
but in the inner tear duct, it just gives you that little pop, very different from the color um, eggnog that we put in here. Do you see the difference? It's like an icy white. And then we're gonna line our eyes and pop some mascara on. So good, right? I love unicorn. I, I never take unicorn out of my palette, not ever, because you can do that little trick to everything. I'm so glad you learned something. It's so crazy to me. It's so crazy to me that you guys learn from me because again, I am a photographer, not a makeup artist. I guess I guess I should start like being a little louder and prouder about the progress that I've made. You know, that's what this is about. This is about community. It's about learning. It's about sharing. It's about growing. It's about making a million mistakes, right? That's what life is about, making a million mistakes. Okay, so we're going to move on to this liner because I have six minutes to finish this up. So this is Hank and Henry's Blickety Black Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. It's so great. Um, very pointy tip and I'm going to just show you my kind of method for creating a little bit of a wing liner without messing it up because at this point ordinarily I would start getting like sweaty pits going oh my gosh your eye makeup looks so good and now you're going to screw it up with some big liner you know so don't worry you take it a little bit of it at a time and you just have a steady hand okay so I have a mirror in my hand and I'm gazing down, that's important. So I'm gazing down and I'm just lightly touching the inner corner of my eye, right there, that's all I did. And you just go a little bit and I want to just take this all along as close to my lash line as possible. And I can look as I go and just decide how much I want, right? If I wanna stop right here, that's fine. But I know that in the picture, Taylor has a little kitten wing here. So we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna show you. What you do is you start by looking at the bottom curve of the low lash and you just flick up and you're flicking toward the outside corner. That's your connection point, the outside corner of the end of your brow, okay? Once you have that kicked up, then you can just take it and pull a straight line back to and just connect right there. Okay, that's it. And then if you want it a bit pointier, you can just make it a bit pointier. And that's all there is to it, you guys. Not difficult. And really, for me, what I like when I look at an eye like this, I want it to be as thin as possible toward the inner part of the inner corner of the eye and a little bit thicker on the outside. How do we do? Now, the real pressure is on when you have to make the other side match. So we're gonna do the same thing and you have to cross your arms like this, right? So I'm holding the mirror and I'm crossing my hands. I'm resting my elbows on my makeup table and I'm looking down. I'm doing exactly the same thing. I just start in the inner corner and I gently drag. I hug the lash line all the way across. You can turn the direction of the pen around, okay? And just get your line the way you want it, okay? Same thing here, follow the lash line from the bottom up. Look at the tail end of where your brow it is ending and then close your eye, put your pen down and draw a straight line back, okay? And then just fill it in. This eye always is harder. One eye will always be harder because you're either left or right eye dominant, okay? You're either right or left eye dominant. So it's gonna be important and just give yourself some grace. Practice this trick. And then that is it, you guys. I'm gonna pop on some mascara very quickly. I think that my person just hopped into my Zoom room, so I'm gonna tell you how you can get a color match with me while I put my mascara on. This is Lash Idol by Lancome. I love this mascara. Again, gaze down and put your mascara on. So to get a color match, it's totally free. It's totally fun. Very easy. You snap a no makeup selfie. You send it to colormatchbykatie.com. I have some really good questions about you and your skin and what you like about it and what you don't like about it and what colors of blush do you prefer, right? 
Um, and so I take all of those things that you tell me about your face into consideration when I'm offering a good color match to you. So I do them all by myself. So I'm gonna be the one looking at your face and it's okay, I've seen it all, don't worry. I know a no makeup selfie sounds like, you know, a vulnerable thing to do, but hey, so is going on live video and just with zits all over your face. So we're in this thing together, right? Um, so I'm just gonna graze my low lashes. I like to kind of zigzag back and forth. So again, colormatchbykatie.com, you guys can hit me up and I would love to see your faces, your beautiful faces. And of course, if we, if you're joining from around the world and we don't happen to sell your makeup, our makeup in your neck of the woods, please come back and just hang out. I would love it if you learn something from my content here and you apply it to the makeup that you have in your in your house and in your vanity. Okay, final thing, I ha you have to set cream-based makeup. And I've been playing around with the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless uh, airbrush setting powder. This is what makes the makeup stay all day. You have to set it. You have to set cream based makeup. I would not want to wear a white collared shirt with this makeup without setting it. So then you just dry it off. Of course, this is my favorite step because I feel fabulous when I do it. <laughs> and then the last thing that I'm going to do to just complete this look is um, I'm going to powder my face because her face, oh, and I need to put something on the low lash. I might just um, add a bit of shadow and just smudge the bottom. Um, so Palm Terrace Frank, you've requested to be in my video like 700 times and I am so afraid to ever invite anyone on live videos because there are creepy dudes out there that flash. Do you know this? They like to expose themselves on live videos. And so it's happened to like 15 girls in my company. So I'm sorry, I'm not gonna let you go on my video and expose yourself if that's who you are. And if that's not who you are, I apologize. The guy that did that ruined it for everyone. So, <laughs> all right. Finally, I'm gonna add just a touch of Vanilla Dust setting powder with my powder brush. I love this brush. It's perfect for this application. And so you'll watch and see what's gonna happen here. Anything that I touch is just gonna, all the shine is gonna go away. And because I'm looking at the way Taylor's face is, um, she is powdered. She is, she is not shiny at all. She's got a lot of powder on and that's beautiful to me. I think she just looks so soft and pretty. And if you do this once, you, don't, you will not have to do it again. And your makeup, because you set with spray and now you're setting with powder, you will not have to do it again all day long. All right, you can even take a big fluffy brush like this and just kinda, I feel like Benny Drama doing this, right? I wanna do it to you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, 432. I'm late. I'm two minutes late. I love you so much. Go and visit me on my color match form. I will see you again next time. Loved every second. I'll see you soon.